Good morning, Cyber Friends. This is Mitty Man. Coming at you again from Walker's Music. We have another word for the day. Sunday morning edition. Give God the praise. Give Him all the honor and glory. We thank Him for life, health, and strength for as well as it is. Could have been another way, people. But this morning, He decided to touch me with the finger of love. My eyes flew wide open again. See another day that one that I have never seen before and one that I never will see again. For that we give him praise. We thanking him also for you two game. Little baby Justice all the way up to Big Papa and Mama JT. To the end time harvest game, Brother LA, Kingdom Knowledge. Also our favorite internet pastor, Elder Michael McCray. Also to all our blog talk friends and supporters, like Lady D. Sister I Rock, Brother Orange Flavor, PP Drawing, Brother JT, all that make up the whole entire cast. We give God the praise this morning, people. Are we getting ready to go out <clears throat> and do what we do? There's another worship Sunday service, and uh, we got full day today. As a matter of fact, I shouldn't, I probably won't even get back home today until about 5 o'clock this evening. Got to, uh, got, to, got to venture to another church after regular service at home church and you know, we got to be on program at another church today uh, church anniversary I believe it is it might be past anniversary not for certain I forget which one I think it's past anniversary though <clears throat> but at any rate as per my title it said Jesus cares for us I just wanted to say this morning that uh, through the walk through the word and from seeing how God always come through. Never late, never early, but right on time. In other words, He doesn't move when we want Him. Mm -mm. He doesn't move when we want Him. But He moves just in time. Wanting to say that Jesus cares for us. He will never forsake us. And oh Lord, I know at times people it can seem mighty dark. And sometimes we feel like he's not there. I can be a witness. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed by certain circumstances of life. And we feel sometimes that where is God in this? Where is God? When we see certain things happen, we often ask ourselves the question, well, where is God? How could God let this or allow this to happen? I wish I knew the answer to that, people. I wish I knew the answer, but I don't. All I know is that whatsoever we suffer as a child of God, and whatever thing that we go through as a child of God, God is working it out for our good. That's according to the Word. In other words, it said, Fret not thyself because of evil doers, neither do be thy envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut off. You know, David had a problem with the wicked prosper. David always had a problem because he saw where the wicked seemed like they prosper. Seemed like. And at times, we, we feel the same way. We're doing the best we can to do what's right as we think. We're doing the best we can. I mean, it may not be as much as some other, but we don't supposed to uh, gauge our lives by the, the, the actions of other people. We're supposed to do what we're supposed to do. And nevertheless, we feel sometimes that no matter how much we do, it still seems like it's not enough. And the more we do what's right, the more it seems like Satan comes against us. Be a good cheer. And let you know when Satan comes against you, he don't have you. And that you are doing something right. So we just got to stay in this. I, I don't know who I'm talking to this, this, this morning beside myself. We just got to stick in the race. We got to stay in the race. Keep your head up. Don't faint. Don't faint. Keep doing it. Keep doing what is right. In due season, we will reap. In other words, remember. Let's remember the words in Galatians. In due season. In due season, we will reap. So, <clears throat> I'm telling everyone this morning, the entire, entire harvest game, all the members, YouTube family, everybody, whoever might see this video, if you're in a storm, be of good cheer. Keep moving. Eventually, you will come out of the storm. And I, to those of you that just got out of a storm, remember this, that if, as long as you're in this flesh, that some more storms are coming. 
You're either in one or two or three areas in your life. You're either getting ready to go into a storm, you in a storm, or you just come out of one. Those are the three stages. And no one is exempt. No one is exempt. So with that being said, baby man, just saying we thank God for all of you. And uh, keep praying for our strength. Let's pray for each other. And one day when the day of refreshing, oh Lord, when the day of refreshing comes, Everything gonna be worth it. Remember, Jesus said not he didn't say it was gonna be easy, but he said it was gonna be worth it. So with that being said, remember this. Whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, it's best that you come on out of it. This is Mitty Man saying we hope you have a uh, those of you that's gonna go out the day to the worship house. Oh God. We hope that you hear from God and that you will get something for living and something that you can be of service to others in the week to come. With that being said, this is Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.